Welcome back to Fool Us. Breaking news. This next magician is attempting to fool Penn and Teller. We take you to them now. My name is Mantas, and I am from Lithuania. I played around with magic as a kid, not very seriously. Back then, my country was just becoming free after decades of Russian occupation. We had nothing just to hope for democracy. Then I saw on TV the great magicians from Las Vegas. I was 12, and at that moment, Las Vegas and magic became synonyms to me. I dedicated myself to magic so a little piece of Vegas could live inside me. Magic reminds people that in life, we can expect miracles. We should remember to be amazed. The very first magic I learned, I tried out on my brother. I was seven, he was three and a half, and of course, he was astonished. From that day until now, my brother is the first person who sees every one of my tricks. He's in the military, and it's a dangerous time to be a soldier because we are close to the Russian war. I dedicate my performance to my brother, my greatest supporter, who means so much to me. All the way from Lithuania, give it up for Montas! When I was a boy, I wanted a magic kit I saw in a store. My father said I didn't need a kit to learn magic. Magic isn't something you buy, he said. Magic is taking ordinary objects and making them do extraordinary things. And what objects did I have to do magic with? Well, an ordinary wooden chair and a cardboard box. Good to see you. You too. All those chairs and you're standing up. Well, you know, I have to rest from sitting down. <laughs> we had another magician from Lithuania on our show. Do all magicians know each other in Lithuania? Yes, unfortunately, we have only three million people living here and only 
few professional magicians performing, so we know each other. <laughs> We're like a little family here. Oh, that's so wonderful. So what loves do you have besides magic? I have a degree in psychology, I have a degree in philosophy, oh. and my passions are reading books, uh, gaining knowledge, understanding human psychology. It's very helpful when you have to choose a volunteer from the audience who can tell from the body language of how the, peop uh, how the person reacts. Some people are very open, they react openly. Some people get, you know, this look and saying, how did he do this? <laughs> so That's you can the exact look that the boys have right now. <laughs> I take it as a compliment. Hi, Penn and Teller. <laughs> okay, Montes, let's see if you fooled Penn and Teller. Hey, Montes, all the way from Lithuania, huh? Really, really? Hi, good to see you. So happy oh, to be here. So nice to have you. It's such a uh, nice trick, you know. Um, there's a version of this that I'm sure you're aware of that, um, that, that Flip and Peter Pitt both did, but you've made it so much better. Having the, the number four become the, uh, the, the way the orientation of the chair is really, really smart. We also love the combination of a classy chair that fits in the room with just a cardboard box with it. It's, it's really nice and really smart stuff. And this is not the kind of trick I usually like. And uh, for some reason, I don't know what it is, I, I love this. This is the kind of trick that Teller likes and I don't, but I think I like this even more than Teller did. It's really, uh, it's really, really good. And you know, Teller and I uh, were having so much fun talking about how great you were. We then got into a competition that we usually have, because um, I hear Teller talk all the time. We're going back and forth. So we often do tongue twisters, you know? So Teller said, you know, she sells she seashells by the seashore. And I said, you know, that's not the really, really hard one. The hardest one is supposed to be the six sh sick sheiks, six sheeps sick. I still haven't done it right. It's a really, really tough one. And I guess it had nothing to do with the trick, but I think we snuck a few things uh, in there and we just loved, loved the act and uh, loved that you're here from Lithuania and just loved the whole room and the whole vibe and everything. But I, I don't think you fooled us. What do you think, Montas? Did you fool them? No, but the tongue twister was amazing. Thank you very much. And I'm happy you enjoyed that. that so I will good. work on my pronunciation as well. Oh, thank you so much, Monta. We've got more magic coming down the pipe. Don't be a drip. Stick around.